Hello. Here we are, Sachin my office, me and my lovely Dave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just wanted to say hi and um, say thank you to everybody for your love and your support. We've had such fun this last couple of days doing the videos with the children. We just hope you enjoy them as much as we've enjoyed making them. Okay, nothing's perfect. Nothing's perfect. We've had wind in the microphone. We've had no different things we've been doing some ceilings upstairs so there's been hammering but i wanted you to see it how it is every day we're not putting on a show we're just showing you how the happy house family lives and how it goes on and what we do i think it's amazing some of the children that have come on to do a video have spoken about the sadness in their what we call the previous life really before they came to be happy house and I felt so proud because we know that they've, they've got over that sadness. They've overcome what happened before. And they're happy to be Happy House kids. And very really confident. Yeah, very confident the way they speak. It's how we bring them up. And they know they're safe, they know they're loved, they know they're secure. So they love their education, they've got great teachers. Um, and we're moving along and we definitely are changing lives. Some of the little ones, the little little hay wards, who some of them are now eight, but like you saw baby Elizabeth, we've saved her life. We save children's lives. And then we change children's lives. Whether they come here as babies, five year olds, twelve year olds, we turn them around, we give them back a childhood. And the main essence of this is love. <coughs> it is. And it's our love, our love for each other. It's been a long road to the happy house. I'm always going to write a book, don't ask me. <laughs> but it's a long, it's been a long road to the happy house. But it's been full of love and laughter, yeah, and some tears along the way. But Dave's been a, I know it's a bit of a cliche, but he has been the wind beneath my wings. In 2012, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And I had to be in England for 18 months away from the children. But what kept us going was our love for each other and our love for our children. I just wanted to get back and be with the children. It gives you something to strive for. So anybody else who's diagnosed, don't think of it as end of the world. It's not. There's amazing treatment now. I've come to, I'm fine. I'm absolutely six years on. And I'm fine. And now the children are growing, they're making plans to work here, to be here. Like Franco, one of the boys said, on, he said, well, where would I go, Mama? This is home. <laughs> and this thing wants to be an electrical engineer. So there's always going to be work in a big place like this. School's growing, this is growing. And it's due to you people, honestly, the kindness and generosity. Definitely. That make our, our work with the children possible. Mm. People say, oh, it's brilliant what you're doing. That. And we do budget very carefully. I've got good staff with Rose and Ronnie and Velma and the aunties who you've seen. I wanted you to meet people. This is why I've had this idea of doing these videos. For you to meet people, know who we are. We're not just a name on an email. We're here. We're happy and we're healthy and we're a very caring and loving family. So thank you, thank you for everything. And we've got a very good team around us now, haven't we? Yeah. It's good said. team. Yeah. And you know, it's our love that keeps everything together. So thank you, it, but it will move on. It will definitely move on this place. Got this is God's work, it's not. We're lucky it's being given to us, but it will, it will continue on, definitely. So thank you for everything, thank you. Once again, thank you.